IHM, stands for Interactions Human Machine. It's a field of research and practice part of informatics. But interfacing with other fields, such as cognitive science, ergonomics, design, electronics, and other subjects. The field of IHM has two main positions. The first is to design, observe, analyze, and assess interaction and experience humans have with technologies. The second is a more technological one. It's to design existing and future technologies and interactive environments. We're also going to have a look at these technologies according to the interaction between humans and them. Interacting with technologies will create new needs that will lead to the creation micro sign of new technologies. For example, we now all have smartphones. Connected on the web. Today's youth is always on social networks. That's something our parents could never have imagined. Always being on social networks will create new needs in terms of technology that lead to more portable and smaller technologies, such as electronic bracelets or smartwatches. This issue also brings new research questions. For example, how to interact with a PC with no screen. IHM was created in the 80s. Since before that, IT was used only by professionals who worked in the IT field. In the 70s, PCs start coming into existence. With graphic interfaces, office software and interactive games, that's when anybody could become a PC user. It revealed usage problems. The field of cognitive science was also created in the 70s. It stemmed from other scientific fields such as cognitive psychology, artificial intelligence, linguistics or philosophy. When IT needed answers to better understand human beings, cognitive science brought those answers. At that time, in professional fields such as aviation and manufacturing, they concentrated on the human factor. Interaction between human beings and technology is beginning to be assessed. At that same time, they realize software development are becoming complex and that users should be taken into account. When designing IT systems, a more iterative conception centered on human beings is studied. That was the start of IHM. Since the field has expanded today, it includes a lot of different things like data displaying, IT accessibility for disabled people, collaborative systems, either direct or on a computer on the web, ubiquitous systems or design processes. The usage is a crucial concept with man-machine interaction. At first, it was roughly said that a system can be used when it is easy to learn and to use. But after, this concept was widened. There are several ISO norms today that define the usage, for example the ISO 9241-2010 norm. This norm states that usage is the level according to which a product can be used by identified users to reach defined goals efficiently and satisfactorily. In a particular usage context, this definition is rather complex to understand. We'll break it down and look at the concepts separately. Efficiency involves precision and the degree of achievement, according to which the user has reached specific goals. What does it mean? A system is effective if it allows a user to do tasks they want to do. Then, efficiency is the relation between the resources spent, the precision and the degree of achievement according to which the user reaches specific goals. More precisely, what does it mean? A quick-to-use system that doesn't require many interactions will be more efficient than a system where the user spends a lot of time to reach their goals. Finally, satisfaction shows positive attitudes. In the use of a product, does the user enjoy using it? So that a product is usable, it has to be effective efficient and satisfactory. This is essential because even a very good algorithm that is very performant won't be used 
if the interface with the algorithm is designed in a way it can't be used.